Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of how to handle the situation when you need to create the record or check if it's already created and what to do in each case. So I will show you the long way of doing that and show you a few tricks how to make it much shorter with a few eloquent tricks. So we have an artisan command, for example, user new and you want to create a user with name and email. And first you check if that user exists by default, the new user is false and the action is updated. That action is later used in the terminal response. And if it is a new user, then for example, we want to send a welcome email. So again, long sequence, we check. If there's no user, we create that, set the user to true and the action to create it. If we launch that terminal command, user new, it is a new user. That's why we're sending a welcome email. If we repeat with the same parameters, then there is no welcome email and there's updated. But if we try to do admin 2 com again, it's a new user. So it works, but this may be much shorter. First thing, instead of checking where and creating or updating the record, Eloquent has a thing called first or create. So user, user, first or create, and you provide all the parameters of name and email. Oh, and by the way, did you know that you can shorter even this where statement? So array name equals name and then email equals email like this. So did you know that where statements can happen in array like this? But anyway, back to first or create. So we provide first or create and then we provide that array of all the parameters. Let's put it on new line so it would be more readable. And then we don't need to do this anymore because the user would be fetched or created in this statement. And then another part of the trick, how can you check now if there is a user or not? Because there's a user in any case. So you can check if user was recently created like this. So Eloquent saves within the same life cycle if that model object was just created. So you can use instead of having separate variable if new user, if user was recently created. Now we don't need this and we don't need this line either. And that created and updated probably belongs here as well, like this something like this. And we can even remove the action variable by adding ternary operator here, but that's a personal preference. So now let's launch that again and see if we didn't break anything. Update it and admin three. Password doesn't have default value. Of course, I forgot the password for the creation. So there's a second parameter for create like this. Password, bcrypt, save password, something like this. So it would return the first record. Otherwise, it would create the record with those fields plus that password. And let's try again. Now it is successful. I deliberately will not reshoot this video. Actually, I'm getting into a habit of leaving the mistakes in my videos. So you would see what mistakes you may make in the future and how to overcome them and how to think about fixing them. So that's a few eloquent tips in one video. If you want more short tips, subscribe to the channel to get daily videos. If you want longer content and much deeper courses, go to my laravaldaily.teachable.com where I have more than 30 courses at the moment. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.